Hello everyone and welcome to 5th North, I'm Demir and today I'll be wrapping things up with this 2023 Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GT Plus. Welcome back to the channel everyone and today after about 250 or so miles I'll be giving the 2023 Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GT Plus back to Suzuki. Uh, once again, shout out to Suzuki for making all this possible, and I did want to take this ride to give you my final thoughts before I do that, so, um, and then also answer the question on if I would recommend buying this bike, and if I would want to buy this bike for myself, so here is the thing, um, you guys, as I went into this trip, um, so here's the thing, you guys, um, as I went into this trip, I knew the four bikes I was going to ride, and honestly, um, I had the least excitement, or I guess better explain this the other way around, I had the most excitement about the other three bikes in the uh, four bike lineup. I mean, the Busa is the Busa, right? Of course, I was going to be excited about reviewing a Hayabusa. Like, how could you not be? That bike is legendary. It's amazing. It's just awesome, right? And then the, you know, the GSX 8S, it was the new player in the, you know, middleweight naked category, which, you know, that's kind of my primary type of bike and primary size of bike. So I really was excited to see, you know, what it could do and what it brought to that category. And then lastly, you know, the V-Strom 800DE, it was going to be my first time riding an adventure bike. And so, of course, I was excited about that as well right but this bike suzuki gsx s 1000 gt plus i really i didn't know what to expect and i honestly didn't know what to be excited about it just wasn't a bike that i heard a lot about it wasn't a bike that i knew a lot about and so i just kind of went into it like okay let's see right and so you know well, I'll simply say this, you guys. The Busa is the Busa, right? It's absolutely fantastic. It's a complete and utter dream. And I really enjoyed, absolutely loved my time with it. But with that being said, my favorite bike out of this trip is easily this one. That's right, I said it. The 2023 Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GT Plus was my favorite bike out of the four bikes and even though i was excited about the other three this bike said hey check me out and you will like this and then it proved it so here's the thing you guys there are plenty of really good uh, specialty bikes out there for example you know sport bikes that deliver insane power speed handling performance but they come at the cost of comfort utility storage and then obviously price right or there's bikes that give you great comfort storage wind protection but quite frankly all ride like a giant lazy boy recliner um, you know they are gutless and they can't turn all that well at least not compared to the sport bikes we were just talking about right and so both bikes are okay and in fact they're really fun and if you can afford it you can have multiple bikes that can do multiple things and you're happy because you have the best of everything but for those people that can't afford multiple bikes and let's be honest, right, you know, most bikes are a luxury and a hobby. Most of us only have one, and so if you can only have one, you want the most bike that you can get, A, for your money, and B, for your one bike that, you know, that you can have. So for that one bike, you want something to give you so many different things that can kind of be a uh, bike of all trades, if you will, right? So. You know that something that is actually good and not just mediocre at everything is what you're looking for but the problem is, is that that will come at a price a big price and that's what makes this bike so great at 14,000 you get a touring bike you get a comfort cruising bike a bike with storage and then a sport bike all in one it's honestly unreal for a bike to have this much power and to have this great of an engine and then with this much performance all the while being so comfortable and having so much storage with the ability to fit you know like i said in the previous videos a full face helmet on each side it's just unreal that you can get all that in one bike and then to top it all off it's 14k now i know 14k isn't super cheap right plenty of you know cheaper bikes out there but for all the things that i just mentioned 14k is cheap like it's it's that simple the value for the money in the 2023 Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GT Plus is through the roof. Um, you know, I have a few nitpicky things that I've complained about, but honestly, the only thing you need to take care of with this bike 
is upgrade the brake master cylinder. Um, you know, upgrade that so you can take full use of the already installed, you know, Brembo calipers and the, you know, dual discs, and you will have a bike that is really close to perfect. Um, I mean, come on, you have amazing performance with 150 horses, 80 foot pounds of torque, and a beautiful sounding four cylinder. You have comfort, you have utility, you have storage. It's just an all around great bike, just an all arounder, if you will, right? And again, I've done multiple trips on this bike and it was just comfortable. Like this bike would be um, great for those long hauls. Like if you wanted a road trip with it or if you wanted to commute with it, it could easily do that too, right? Or, or you know, have fun with it, uh, with its power and handling abilities. Again, it just seems that the 2023 Suzuki GSXS 1000 GT Plus can do it all. And, and that's really hard to be, especially at this price. Um, Okay, so let me answer the question, right, from the beginning. Would I recommend the 2023 Suzuki GSX-S um, 1000 GT Plus? And the answer is yes, without a doubt I would. Um, no questions asked from, from that front. And, you know, the second question is, is would I buy this bike with my own money? And yeah, I for sure would. Um, honestly, again, you have to fix the brake master cylinder right off the bat. That is, that is something you have to absolutely address. Again, it's not so bad that it's dangerous it's just it doesn't correlate to the rest of the bike's performance you do have to fix that to give yourself that happiness but um once you do that you have yourself an amazing bike at an amazing value and just go enjoy it right um, i could honestly see myself taking this bike on a really long trek and uh, i think a trip up the west coast from california to washington and maybe even even into like you know further up into canada like you know vancouver and victoria i think something like that would be super awesome on, on a bike like this honestly I, i'm just thinking about it it got me all excited i may have to look into uh doing something like that in the future so um i don't know let me know what are your thoughts on this bike am i am i right here am i am i losing my mind or is this bike just that awesome if you have one let me know your, your experience down in the comments below and if you don't have one you know, just let me know what you think in general and then uh, obviously if you do like the bike if you do like the video as always i'll ask you to hit that like button for me and again if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button as well i see some of you guys you 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 know the algorithm tells me the a analytics tell me you come back week after week to watch the videos so don't be weird about it just, just hit the button hit the subscribe button you know what i mean help me out that way i can keep making uh you know content for you guys to watch um, but with that being said though, I do have a little bit more time left with this bike, so I'm going to go ahead and put some more miles on it, and uh, I'll definitely be sad to give it back, but um, once again, just a fantastic bike. I really couldn't be, uh, well, I could be happier with it, obviously, if we did, did the brake fix that I talked about, but other than that, I'm definitely super happy with this. So uh, this wraps up my trip, you guys, out here in SoCal. I'm hoping to, uh, you know, make a return, hopefully sometime in the future, and maybe get a chance to do a couple more Suzuki bikes and maybe possibly even some other brands as well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but once more, big shout out to Suzuki um, and the team over there at Suzuki for really making this trip happen and for uh, letting me test out some sweet bikes. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.